It's the end of an era in Texas politics as Rick Perry announced Monday he will not seek a fourth term as the state's governor. But the time has come to pass on the mantle of leadership. I will not seek re-election as governor of Texas. Perry is the longest serving governor in Texas history, but his statewide support has dwindled. With a 41 percent approval rating, he's actually one of the least popular governors in the country. And in a public policy polling study last week, 60 percent of voters in Texas said Perry should not run again, with only 30 percent saying he should. Perry became lieutenant governor in 1998 under George W. Bush and took over December 31st, 2000, when Bush resigned his seat as Texas governor to become president. Perry is rumored to be mulling over his own presidential ambitions. Although he was initially a frontrunner in polls, his 2012 run for the Republican nomination was a high-profile failure. He'll decide on a 2016 run this year. Perry's departure as governor will mean a huge shakeup at the Texas Capitol. The Texas Tribune wrote Monday, years of pent-up ambition have been unleashed as a host of statewide officials are trying to move up the food chain. Monday's news means 2014 will see the first open race for Texas governor, that is, without an incumbent, since 1990. And a few state political figures have already made clear their desire to fill Perry's boots. Now, as Texas Attorney General, Greg Abbott is defending our constitutional rights. It might look like a campaign ad, but Greg Abbott hasn't officially announced his candidacy for governor, at least not yet. Though the Republican State Attorney General has amassed $18 million in campaign funds, giving him by far the biggest war chest of potential candidates. On the Democratic side, State Senator Wendy Davis has gotten a lot of attention for her filibuster of a controversial abortion bill. With a newly bolstered national profile, she'd have an advantage fundraising. Still, Texas is a state dominated by Republicans. Along with the lawmakers in office, Perry still has 18 months on the job, which he says he'll use to pursue a series of conservative goals. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.